Guys, welcome to my new YouTube video on today. I haven't done one of these in a long time because I've been waiting to finish off um, the complete second season of The Flash and I have done now, so that's cool. I can finally talk about it. Um, to say that there's not that many episodes on this season, I have actually dragged it out because <laughs> it was like September when I finished season one and I started season two right after season one, so... And it's like near the end of October now, so like how long did I drag that out for? Nearly a month. Oh my god, yeah, nearly a month, because it was the 21st of September I did that video. Yeah, so anyway, let's talk about The Flash Season 2. Now, this will be really hard to talk about, because I better not get it mixed up with Season 4, because I started watching Season 4 right after I watched Season 2. Now, you might be thinking, why did you watch Season 4? Just watch Season 3. That's a problem. I don't have season three, and I've been looking for it. And they had it in CEX on Blu-ray, but I'm not playing that much for Blu-ray. I mean, yeah, it's on HD, but I ideally want it on DVD because the rest of the Flash DVDs that I have are on DVD. So let's get into the actual review of this show. I think that season two was a lot, well, not a lot, but like a bit better than season one because in my opinion the flash season one was a perfect season for a superhero tv show and always will be my favorite superhero tv show no matter how many tv shows marvel puts out there on disney plus they won't really compare to these kind of superhero tv shows like well the defenders universe from um marvel and those stuff those tv shows sorry me phone alerted me something then 10 percent on my battery uh these tv shows are just like the best tv shows you can even watch and i'm gonna start watching um the titans on netflix that's this part of this universe but yeah overall i think i'd give this a 10 out of 10 right away i have all the words of what i'm gonna say before i start videoing and then when i do it's like they go out the window it's like stage fright <laughs> I hate it. But yeah, season one was like a 9.5 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, only because of there was one bad episode in the entire show, and that was season one, episode 17. God, I hate that episode. And that was weird. It was like watching a 1960s Batman episode. And, I mean, that won't be a bad thing if it matches the style of the show. Season 1, episode 17 was like watching a Joker spin-off of The Flash. It was just weird. And I'm sure that was Mark Hamill. Anyway, he was back in this TV show for one episode and then they killed him off. Thought that was rubbish, really. But yeah, he was the trickster. That episode was actually alright. Um, but I think the villain is slightly better than the villain in Season 1. Now, I love Diabod Thorn as reverse flesh, Reverse Flash, but... I think Zoom is a way more menacing villain in general, like, Zoom is just, every time he was on the screen, I was literally screaming at the screen, I've never hated a fictional character that much in my life before, never, not even more than Billy in Stranger Things, and I hated him, but, oh my god, this guy, Zoom was menacing and annoying at the same time, like, I thought he got thrown into another universe near the end of it, but then, no, he comes back and kills the Flash's father. <sighs> Why the hell did he do that? Just to prove a point. I mean, like, that was menacing. He just got hold of the Flash's father right in front of him and went, this is proof that we are the same person. He's just a psycho, like, but he's a great villain in general. That's what I mean. Um, I don't think there was any bad episode in this series, actually, apart from, I mean, this weren't really that bad as well, but the King Shark episode was just a bit crazy. I didn't really understand that one, but I'm not saying that it was even that bad as well. It was still entertaining, but a bit weird. I find the supervillain King Shark just weird. I know he was in the Suicide Squad, but, like, is he even a Flash villain? I don't know. I think my favourite episodes throughout this whole show was, um... I don't even think this counts as a Flash episode, but, um... The Crisis on Earth X? The two-part series. I don't know what it's called. Hang on, let me just... Yeah, the, uh... Season 2, episode 8, A. Legends of Today, part 1 of the episode crossover event. And then Legends of Yesterday, part 2 of the epic crossover event. 
Those episodes was just pure TV. It was one of the best episodes of TV shows I have ever seen of all time. Like we got the Arrow, we got Felicity Smoke, the best hacker. We got uh, we got Hartman. I wasn't expecting him to be in the Flash show. We got Heart Girl, which was kind of pointless character if you ask me. I always see her in the future though, because I quite enjoyed the character though. I've heard that she's in Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, I need to watch that show. But yeah, all those episodes was really good with the villain of Vandal Savage. That was a really good one. But I don't even know if he, this was actually a Flash episode. Like, they were introducing it like it was part of the Arrow TV show. So it could be Arrow, I don't know. But yeah, that's my review on season two. And uh, my favourite episode through it was them, actually. Gotta say, yeah. And the Exploring Earth 2 and Escape from Earth 2, those were really good two-part two episodes. And we got to the introduction of uh, Killer Frost in this season, which are uh, pretty awesome. And we got Vibe. He became, uh, Cisco became Vibe in this season, which I thought was pretty cool as well. Only I have watched season four a little bit, and he's a teleporter. I don't know if that that's in season three, but we'll just have to find out when I watch season three. I think my favourite villain thing will change to Savitar, because Savitar looks like an absolute menace at the moment, but the moment it's Zoom, and Reverse Flash is sadly at the bottom, but I still think he's a great villain. But anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time when I'm reviewing season three of The Flash.